There's a big fish. Holy cow. Oh, get out of the tree, get out of the tree, get out of the tree. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. In this one, I'll be comparing two very similar crankbaits against each other with their big difference being the price. I'm just now getting out here to the fishing spot and this place is sick. I've never been here before, but so pumped to be out here today. So here's the plan. I have been fishing with these really cheap micro crankbaits that I found on Amazon. They're less than a dollar a piece, but they look very similar to my all-time favorite ultralight lure, which is the Yozuri Snapping. So today I'm gonna pit these two lures against each other to see if the Yozuri Snapping is worth the extra cost. The first lure that I'm gonna use is this cheap crankbait. Let's see if I can catch some fish. This is a comparison video that I've wanted to do for quite some time. Whenever I first saw these cheap ones on Amazon, I immediately thought of the Yozuri Snapping. So I'm very interested to find out the results of this comparison. So far about five minutes, no bites with this first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the Yozuri Snapping and see if anything will go for that. Casting distance is identical. Right away, I could tell that the Yozuri snapping has a much more intense vibration. I could just feel the action of this bait in the rod tip, and I was not feeling that with the cheap crankbait. All right, I've been fishing this, uh, this first pond for about 30 minutes. I've not gotten a single bite, so I think I'm gonna switch over to that other pond. It's a little bit different. The water clarity is a lot different, but there's also a lot of rocks. So I think these little crankbaits might do good bouncing off those rocks. I switched over to this little crawfish. I was not getting a bite. I've been out here for almost an hour. So I don't think the fish are really after something moving that quickly. So I'm gonna try out this bottom presentation and see if maybe this is what the fish are after. It's been a struggle, guys. I've been almost around this pond, then I was around the other pond. <laughs> Fishing is, uh, is pretty slow. Oh, there's a fish. All right, guys, finally have one. A little crappie. I will take it. See you later, buddy. Well, today is, uh, it is not, it's not going as planned. I thought these uh, these crankbaits would be both catching tons of fish, but neither of them have caught a fish. I actually caught one little crappie using my little crawfish soft plastic. So I'm gonna move around a little bit, see if I can find where these fish are at. Not giving up though. All right, first catch down here. Got me a stick fish. Hands gone. See you later, buddy. Here's the game plan. I am not having any luck at this park, so I may give it a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna go to a different fishing spot because I know these crankbaits can catch fish, but for some reason I'm just not getting, not getting many bites here. I'm at the new fishing spot. This water is quite a bit muddier than that last location, so I don't know how well these crankbaits are going to do, but on the bright side, they actually do both have rattles in them. So that is going to help me. There we go. <laughs> Holy smokes. I don't know if I got that on camera, but when I was set the hook, this guy came flying out of the water. First fish today with the micro crankbait and it's on the Yozuri. See you later, buddy. I'm going to switch from the Yozuri to the cheap version and uh, See if I catch one with that. To keep this as fair as possible, I'm going to try to use the uh, same color schemes when switching between the baits. So I really only have two options. I've got this silver and a yellow. I caught that first fish using the silver on the Yozuri. So I am going to use the silver on the cheap one. There's a fish. A little bluegill, a little bit bigger than that last one, but so far these crankbaits are tied one apiece. See you later, buddy. With this water being a little muddier, I was certainly expecting the uh, 
cheaper one to take a little bit longer since the action isn't as crazy, but it actually surprised me. So I switched back to the Yozuri. This time I switched over to the gold with a black back and I also changed locations. There we go. Oh, he's off. See you later, buddy. Moving forward, I'm gonna start off with the alternate crankbait whenever I change the location. So that first location, I actually started off with the Yozuri, and then I started off with the Yozuri again right here. So that wasn't, that wasn't exactly fair. So this next time I move, I'm gonna start with the cheap one, and then I'm just gonna rotate them like that. All right, let's see if this gold with a black back Cheap one can also catch a fish in this spot. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. Oh, please stay on. No way. There we go. <laughs> First cast with the cheap one, guys. No way. Was not expecting that. See you later, buddy. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that this cheap crankbait just took the lead after catching that bass. Not only did it catch that bass in the same spot I was fishing that Yozuri snapping, it caught it on the very first cast, which is shocking to me. There we go. No way. A little bass. Two bass in a row with the cheap one. See you later, buddy. Caught fish number three with the cheap crankbait, that little bass. So I'm gonna switch over to the Yozuri, see if I can catch one in this spot with it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been using this little Gerber, little line cutter. It's on this lanyard, not sponsored. I actually bought this at, I think Bass Pro, but it is my new favorite fishing tool. So if you guys are interested in that, check down in the description. I highly recommend it. It is super useful, especially when quickly changing between lures like I am today. All right, Yozuri snap bean. Let's see what you can do. And I'm tangled. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. First, uh, first cast with the snap bean. All right, last cast with the snap bean in this location. I've had one bite, but uh, landed no fish with the snap bean here. All right, spot number uh, three, four. Spot, no, I don't know. I can't, I can't count, but this is the next spot. Starting off with the Yozuri, the last location, I started off with the cheap one. So, see if I can catch a fish here. All right, this is gonna be my last cast in this spot with the Yozuri, then I'm gonna switch over to the cheap one. Switching over to the cheap one. I think the Yozuri dives a little bit deeper, so it's picking up it's picking up some debris in this location. I don't, I don't know how the cheap one's gonna perform, but I'm gonna give it a shot. This one also is picking up some debris, but I think it runs a little bit shallower than the Yozuri. There we go. <laughs> All right, so, oh, he's off. See you later, buddy. This cheap one just took the lead in terms of fish caught. That last location, I was not able to catch one with the Yozuri, but on the other hand, I was able to catch one with the cheap with the cheap crankbait. I'm at a different spot now, and I'm starting out with a cheap crankbait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no way. Bass number three with the cheap one. Not very big, but it is still a bass. See you later, buddy. All right, Yozuri. Let's see what you can do, buddy. Fish on, first cast. Oh, it's a, it's a nice one. Oh, how am I gonna get him out? Okay, easy, buddy. Yes, first bass with the Yozuri. Not a bad one at all. This might be the biggest of the day. It's very similar in size to that first one I caught. See you later, buddy. The more expensive crankbait finally has a bass on the board. That did come on the first cast, so I'm gonna cast around with the Yozuri for a little bit longer, then I'm gonna switch back to the cheap one. 
As far as my setup goes, this is my four-piece St. Croix travel rod. On there I have my Fluger little President reel spooled with four pound fluorocarbon. This is by far my favorite setup because you can catch a bunch of fish, but when you hook into a big one, it is, uh, it's a battle. There we go. Little bluegill. Fish number two in this location with the Yozuri. I'm gonna switch back to the cheap crankbait and uh, change up spots. See you later, buddy. New location, I'm starting out here with the cheap crankbait. All right, no luck here with the cheap one. I'm switching over to the Yozuri. I only have about 15 minutes left, so it's coming down to the, it's coming down to the wire. Oh, there's a big fish. Holy cow, please stay on. Oh, get out of the tree, get out of the tree, get out of the tree. Doggy, that's what I'm talking about. Holy cow, he he completely creamed the Yozuri crankbait. Yes, Whew, that was intense. <laughs> See you later, buddy. This Yozuri snapping has made quite the comeback in this last 30 minutes. I only have about five more minutes. So I'm gonna quickly tie on the cheap crankbait and give that one a shot. Oh, there's a fish. This feels like a nice one. <laughs> oh, holy cow, it's a giant bluegill. <laughs> this is one of the biggest bluegill I've caught in this pond. That was awesome. See you later, buddy. I am completely out of time. That last bluegill, that was actually pretty surprising. I didn't think there was any decent sized bluegill in this pond, but that guy was, he was a pretty good size. So the cheap crankbait gets the largest bluegill of the day award and the Yozuri snapping gets the largest bass of the day award. But as far as comparing these two baits, they are very similar. They both performed exceptionally well. It started off with the cheap one taking the lead but in this past half hour that Yozuri really caught back up. So I will leave the link to both of these lures in my description if you guys are interested, but you, I, you honestly can't go wrong with either. The cheap one just happens to be a whole lot less expensive than the Yozuri. So I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you in the next one. That was close. All right, where is it? <laughs> Good Lord. Okay, I'm sinking. Going down. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're not gonna believe where this just hooked. I went through the handle and hooked onto the backpack. What? <laughs> what? How is it even possible?